Hello everyone and welcome back to Cat Tales. And we are here with Creek's Legends with our young cat Creek. Oh look, there's a cat named Hale down here. That is so cool. Very fitting of a fellow Mystic Colony cat to meet in the winter snows here. Hello Hale. Stay alert. You never know when an ambush could be launched against us. Oh well, I really hope that's not today because I'm very much looking forward to spending a very peaceful afternoon wandering our territory, skating across the ice, yay! Gathering up frogs and enjoying the last days of winter. It actually seems really surreal to think that Creek has already been here for so many months. As we've talked about in the past, she has probably started to see this place as home. She's getting better at hunting, even though we could still we could still definitely use a lot more skill. I think that she's, yeah, she's already up to level five of hunting, which does help her quite a bit. And she's spent most of the winter actually working on her hunting and even some of her fighting skill because all of the waterways that she loves diving into and swimming in and trying to get fish out of are frozen over. But spring and warmer air, warmer seasons. Oh, and here's about the poison snake lily. Don't mind if we do. Apparently, Alyssa, our, uh, our colony leader, doesn't mind if we use snake lily. I think that Creek really expected to feel more conflicted about it, but Alyssa and even the oracle seem to regard snake lily, yes, and we got that frog, as a gift of the marshes. And so they don't seem to have a problem with using snake lily against other cats, which I was really surprised about because it does indeed give us toxic paws, toxic claws that we can use to fight with. Let's go ahead and eat one of our little frogs. But we've learned a lot over the winter, including the fact that Alyssa thinks we're okay. Ever since we did that jack-o'-lantern carving competition with Alyssa and got covered and covered in all of the gunk from inside of the jack-o'-lanterns, Alyssa has been pretty all right with us, which I think is really adorable. That little frog is gonna be my lunch. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> And I think that she's really come to see that although Creek kind of came off as just a burden, like a cat who wasn't really going to be able to help out very much in the colony, she's actually helped to defend it multiple times and she has proven herself a pretty, uh, pretty decent frog leg catcher if I, if I do say so myself. Not to mention we became fast friends, almost like sisters with Savannah. So now all that's left is to see if Creek is going to enjoy her time here in Mystic Colony if she is going to make it her home. Uh, oh, let's get this. Yes, there we go. Oh, who's this? A beautiful, what? There's so many of our cats here. Lily, what are you doing here? Oh shoot, it seems I can only catch bugs. I'm not good enough at pouncing on prey. Oak, what are you doing here? What a name for a mystic colony cat too. Do you smell something strange in the air? Huh, this actually seems a little bit foreboding. But we're going to see if Creek is going to decide if her place is actually going to be somewhere in this world. If she wants to be here, if she wants to be part of Mystic Colony, Mountain Colony, who we just began to meet last time, or even Forest Colony, who we've actually waged pretty violent war against since day one. And we're going to have to see if she's willing, if Creek is willing to give up her life in Apple Clan and her position as the leaders, the colony, or excuse me, <laughs> the clan leader's daughter. And I think the answer is probably yes. There's so many mysteries that we have begun to unravel in this world, including the mysterious sacred temple and the guardian of the forest calling to us, which is 100% something that Creek can completely get behind because she very much wants to be part of some deeper conspiracies in the world and some deeper mysteries. So we're gonna try to like hunt and gather up the items that the guardian of the forest needs, but tomorrow is actually going to be at the sacred temple, the celebration for the end of the year. And there is something very special as a little holiday present from the creators of Cattails that I cannot wait to show you guys. It's going to be so fun. It involves Crampy, a bunch of mistletoe, a whole bunch of like smooshed up berries and who knows what else and some pretty funky colors. So it's going to be really cool to show you guys in just a bit. Irmont, I wish you could become friends, like just low key friends with some of these guys too. That's so cool. It's almost like Creek is starting to be known by a whole bunch of the other Mystic Colony cats. <gasps> There's a little mouse. Let's get him. Food. Oh man. 
<laughs> All right, he got away, but at least we're back over to the main camp. So Oracle, how are you doing today, old lady? I saw you coming from afar. What is it that you seek? As an outsider from birth, you like- oh, Thanks, Oracle. Just as we were talking about becoming more comfortable and possibly seeing this place as our home, Oracle's just over here like, as an outsider, what do you think you're doing here? Our ways are probably strange to you. Well, jeez. Cranky old bat. <laughs> Everything is a sign. The wind, the trees, the weather. All of it is constant communication. It speaks plainly of the future if you know what it is saying. Hmm. Well, here, let's like throw a frog at her <laughs> and see if that makes things better. All right, here, here's the frog. The way of the oracle is filled with the mundane, but you have brought me luxury. <gasps> oracle might be our frog like eating buddy. Oh, that's so cool. I thank you for the honor of your present. Wonderful. Well, I don't mind taking care of Oracle. That seems like something that all of the younger cats in the entire colony should do. Alyssa, how are you today? Creek, it's good to see you. Do you think you'll be going to the Winter Festival? It's tomorrow at the Sacred Temple if you'd like to attend. Of course we will. Also, Alyssa is now up to all five stars. So I think as a possible romantic interest, what you can do is you can start giving the romantic interest different gifts and the color of the heart down in the bottom right may start to change. And by the way, you guys, for those of you who have been asking, I have not forgotten about Creek's sister, Silver. And Silver's very, uh, very shifting heart. We will be playing with Silver at some point in the future. We'll be doing a mix of episodes and let's plays to romance every single possible cat that you can romance in the entire game. So I'm very much looking forward to that too. All right, so let's go ahead. We do have some roses that we could offer Alyssa, but let's try offering her a berry instead. Just something nice and simple as a kind of warrior, if you could call her that. I feel like Creek is more like a bumbling scout slash, well, she's actually been quite the warrior too, but let's give her some winter berries. Um, oh my gosh, we lost a whole heart. Alyssa, I'm sorry. Would you like a toad? I'm so sorry. Here, our precious toad. We've offended our colony leader here. Would you like the toad? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I hope that, like, I feel like Creek would be so embarrassed. She'd just rush over and, like, pound on this and be like, crack open ice. Alyssa likes fish. Oh, I feel so humiliated. I just offended Alyssa just as we were starting to build a deep friendship with her. Hello, kitten. It's nice to see you today. Hello, Slip. Seems a bit darker than usual. Probably on account of all these clouds. All right. Here you go, Slip. I'm going to give you a frog because I feel like being super friendly today. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks for the gift, kitten. No problem, Slip. Mossy! Mossy! There's the little the little flower that we put down for Mossy. <gasps> that reminds me! I need to hurry! Savannah! Savannah, would you please buy some of the stuff I'm carrying around? Oh, let's talk to. Hey, Creek! I saw this marigold and thought you might like it. Oh, Savannah, thank you! Okay, uh, I'm gonna put it away for now, and then we might use the marigold to plant things later. But Savannah, seriously, I've gotta sell some of these berries to you, please. All right, let's sell some of these. We're going to sell a few of the winter berries. I'm gonna sell one of the snake lily, a couple of the roses, cause why not? But we're gonna sell a whole bunch of the winter berries in the hopes that we will be able to get a bit of money. Oh man, the dove is actually really, really, really worth a lot. So we'll sell the dove too. There we go. Cause we wanna get tons of mews. I think it's like two or 300 mews so that we can get the garden extension in our den from that mole. And that's something I very much want to do. Oh, there you are, Mossy. All right, let's come talk to Mossy. Oh, are you here to watch the seedlings as well? Or is there something I can help you with? Creek, are you back uh, to see how the meadow is doing? It's so much fun to watch how everything changes with the seasons, isn't it? Hmm, well, it is very snowy right now, Mossy. It's really funny because I literally wrote those dialogue lines for her and I forgot what I wrote. So it's really funny to go back and read it. All right, there you go. Creek, how did you know? I love the smell of this. Isn't it so nice and refreshing? I'll enjoy it while watching the clouds. What a lovely way to spend the day. Care to join me? Oh, Mossy. She's just a very peaceful cat. All she wants is a nice little patch of sun, uh, probably not so much the snow, and to be able to watch the clouds. All right, we do have quite the marigold collection. I don't think that's really Creek's like flower of choice, but apparently she's known for marigolds at the moment. Hopefully we'll find a different kind of flower that we can uh, become a little bit more well known for. 
All right, let's go see if we can do just a spot of hunting before the nighttime, and then it's gonna be time for the winter festival. Huzzah, huzzah, oh, it's a turtle, it's a turtle. He's, he's so rare, my rare turtle, come back here. Come back here, I'm sorry, this is not personal little guy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's because the turtle shell is super rare. It is a prized speckled shell worth a good amount of muse. Talk about treasures. That is the kind of thing that just gets creaks, whiskers all tweaked. She gets so excited if she can find rare treasures. And sure enough, we just found a rare treasure. Well, that was quite thrilling. Just finding the turtle where I didn't expect it. Also, what the heck is this? What the heck? I do not remember this here. I feel quite conflicted. What is going on? He hello? Hello? I see a paw print. I just cannot seem to do anything with that paw print in the roots. Hmm. All right. This is such a beautiful tree. I can't wait to see it when it's in flower again. Got some snake lily. Might as well harvest that while it's growing. Let's see. Whoa! Didn't mean to do this. Didn't mean to do this, but we're here now. Hey, remember that snake lily we just got? Let's go ahead and use that. All right. Turn around. Eh. Eh. Do we get them? The battle is won! Congratulations, fellow cats! Whiskers! Sophie! <laughs> no, I wasn't really looking for herbs, I was looking for treasure, but you know what? Winning that battle will do. My goodness! Well, we found that snake lily just in time. I guess that's a lesson to creak not to let anything go to waste. Dang it, that frog! Oh, it got away. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and eat this frog, and then let's head home, and let's go ahead and go to sleep so that we can celebrate the winter festival and the very fun winter themed gift that uh the cattails designers have actually left for us so let's go to sleep not for us specifically but for everybody who owns the cattails game which is now out by the way today is the winter festival i should head to the sacred temple and join in on the fun but there is a special code you can enter for a special winter themed cat coat, which I'm really excited about. All right, and let's see, do I have, I do indeed already have one turtle shell, but I feel like seashells and turtle shells are the all time most precious thing that Creek would really love collecting. So I'm gonna leave all the turtle shells up there. She has a lot of things we could sell in order to like make a ton of money. But I want to be able to like, I feel like she would really hoard her treasure. She'd be very conflicted. Needing to make the muse, but unwilling to part with some of her treasure is totally Creek's persona. All right, let's go ahead and gather up this snake lily. It feels really surreal, kind of humbling to be collecting snake lily on our way to a festival between all of the different colonies though. Hmm, even to a celebration like this, we can't forget that the cats that celebrate together today are gonna be fighting again tomorrow, or even today if we bumped into them. All right, so let's wiggle our way over to the temple. Eventually, we'll probably want to unlock the ability to warp straight to the temple. Am I going too far? A little bit too far. All right, down we go. Aha, some berries over here by the river. And then we'll wiggle our way this way. Speaking of the river, one of the things that Creek needs to do is actually work her way up along the entire here for, uh, 11? <laughs> Coco! <laughs> Coco just th threw us out. I thought the festival should just like start right away. We're cats. How do we know a concept of time? All right, well, we'll go ahead and skate on the ice for a minute. Oh my gosh, there's a whole patch of snake lily over here. I wonder if that would be kind of like a mystic cat colony secret. It wouldn't be very good if some of the other cats learned the secret of the snake lilies after all. That could definitely foster some unwanted aggression. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this mouse. Yeah, all right, got some breakfast. And then, aha, uh -huh, dang it, that mouse saw us. <laughs> now we should be able to actually work our way back up to the temple and enjoy the winter festival, my friends. <gasps> That's so cute. There's a whole bunch of lights. Oh my gosh. I just had this mental image of Coco and some other sneaky cats raiding a two legs house, AKA a human house and just like pulling all of the lights off like little battery powered ones that don't die as I say in quotation marks when they yank it away. But what if they're like raiding the Christmas decorations off of somebody's house so they could have their own little celebration. That is so cute. Look at everything! Oh man! All right, let's come talk to Slip. One more year goes by. I hope it was a good one for everybody. Oh, that's so cool! Then there's Scout from the uh, the forest colony, who is actually the colony that Creek has the most conflict with. 
Uh, Scout? Who has been- what's been your proudest accomplishment this year? Alyssa? Any good stories from this year you can share? Oh good, her, her little star is back. Delta? Delta, you're purple! Can you believe it's been a year since our last winter festival? Time flies when you're having fun. Well, it's my first one, but I'm very happy to be here, Lyris. Are you joyful for the new year? Lyris cannot c contain the excitement. Doc? I'm here to see if any new sicknesses have been spreading to the other colonies. That way, we can prepare. Oh my gosh. Oh, Neil, how you doing? Did you need something from me? I'm just here to have fun and enjoy the festival. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mossy. Have you seen the small seedlings poking through the snow? It makes me so happy. Oh good, she's happy to see spring just like I am. Leo? At least these festivals keep morale high with the, within, with the cats of the mountain con domain. Oh my gosh. Tripped over that. Oracle? Soon the cold shall end. We gather to celebrate the return of warmth. Sarge? It's been a year of prosperity for the forest colony. Here's to another. Something tells me they're bluffing. I feel like the forest colony in particular seems to have struggled very much this year, and they have been trying very, very hard to take the wealth and the well-being of the other colonies. All right, let's see. Pebble, how you doing? Pebble, what is that over your head? That's so cute. Fair warning, if you join in on the festival games, I won't go uh, easy on you. Ember, I think it's neat that all the colonies come together at the end of the year and welcome the next one. Mayor? Use this special time to reflect back on your year and set goals for the next one. Again, I feel like from our point of view, Forest Colony had a really hard year, and they might be thinking about how they can try to make up for that next time. At least it's starting to warm up. I don't care about the new year, I just want to start shivering. <laughs> oh my goodness. Luna? This festival is cool, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you have a partner like Missy to talk to, that's all you would have to say. Jag? The new year is here. Are you ready for it? And Savannah! Jeez, everybody can be a little, like, dire right now, Savannah. Do you want to play with the lights? Maybe next year I'll find a new re- No, Savannah, don't leave us, but can we go with you, actually? A new region to explore. I've had my eyes on the ocean for a while now. Do you think there's a distant land out there somewhere? Oh, Savannah. One day, one day. I feel like Savannah, Alyssa, and Creek would go down to the beach and try to swim as far as they can, which we'll do once our swimming skill is a little higher. The mountain go domain grew stronger this year. Perchance, next year will become even greater. Hmm, so I feel like mountain domain did fine this year, but forest has struggled, and Mystic has gained a little bit of a foothold. There's so many fun things to do today. One day simply isn't enough time to celebrate the new year. Hmm. So the coming of the warm seasons is what everybody is celebrating. All right, let's walk up. And then we're actually going to come down now and we're going to talk to Crampy. Crampy, how you doing, my friend? I can melt snow with my mind. Watch and learn. You'll have to give it a few days to take effect. It's not an exact science, I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're gonna say, guys, that we came over to visit with Crampy, and Crampy was over here mixing and mashing a bunch of berries and mistletoe and bits of fur, and uh, fur is in the tree, or maybe some of his own fur for flavoring, who knows. But we're gonna say that he did that, and as he was doing that, uh, Creek walked up, and he wants Creek to try out his special potion. Because there is actually a very special new code that any of you who have cattails can enter, and it's Holiday Cheer. And if you go ahead and enter that, you can unlock the peppermint code. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and say that Creek, who is normally supposed to be a silver tabby, by the way, not a black tabby, but a silver tabby, but we're gonna say that Creek actually uh, drank that potion that Crampy gave her, and as a result, she has become a starting, a very startlingly peppermint-colored cat, which is going to take everyone aback, but that's what she gets for drinking from Crampy's mysterious potions. So that cracks me up. We're gonna be a peppermint cat to celebrate the Winter Festival. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
<laughs> and let's go ahead and come over to Coco. Coco, what are you selling? I want to see what's what's up for offering. Oh, I don't even think I've seen a card. What a bubble wand! That is so cute! And winter light decor. Okay, we definitely, I wish I had enough coins to be able to get that because I just love the idea that the winter lights they stole off of somebody's house and dragged through the forest to the temple. Maybe there's all sorts of like human things hiding all over the temple grounds that the cats had just stolen off of territory in the area. That'd be so funny. All right, and then a bubble wand sounds absolutely adorable. And then there's the snow day color and a pet butterfly. <gasps> a little pet butterfly, are you kidding me? Of course, hello, Coco, let me play the games. All right, guys, let's go ahead and join in the games. Snowball fights, we're just about to start round one of three if you'd like to join. All right, so let's go ahead. We're peppermint colored uh, and we're going to join in the snowball fight. Welcome to round one of the winter snowball fights. Your teammate for the event will be Missy. Oh my gosh, can you imagine what she would have to say about us being peppermint patterned? I've got this, leave it to me and we'll win. The enemy today will be Robin and Pebble. Remember that the most important thing is to have fun. Oh, I didn't realize what, who we were going up against. Is it too late to back out now? I think Missy probably throws taunts with her snowballs. The objective of the snowball fight is to take down your opponent before they take down you. Three hits and you're out. You can throw a snowball. Everybody ready? On your mark, get set, go. What? Okay. What? The snowballs can cancel each other out? <laughs> this is amazing. Come on. There we go. Missy, work with me here, would ya? Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, I gotta predict where they're gonna go. Oh man, Robin is like, I feel like this is unfair going against Mountain Domain. They're probably like some of the most highly trained cats out there. Okay, dodge Pebble. Oh, Missy, Missy! Why Missy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I feel like these cats are some of the most highly trained. The, I feel like Mountain Colony must spend like all their time training for battle. Look, Robin and I are just like in a standoff. Yes, I got Robin! Okay, did I already lose a heart? I didn't even realize when I lost a heart. Pebble is just like throwing them out there nonstop. Okay, Pebble, let's see if we can convince you. No, I lost a heart. Oh my gosh. This is pretty intense. I know it doesn't look like it. It's just like all the other mini games where it probably looks like it's the easiest thing in the world. Ah, right up the tail end. <laughs> Creek, you won one festival token. Thanks for playing. Oh dear, that's not enough for a pet butterfly. We've got to try this again. Okay, let's join in. I think we got completely trounced by Mountain Colony, so they really do have very good fighters. Oh, Alyssa's our partner? <gasps> oh my gosh, Alyssa. Okay, I feel like Creek would suddenly feel like the pressure ramped up to a roaring fire because she has to impress her colony leader. The, uh, the enemy team will be Pebble and Slip. Oh my, go easy on an old cat, won't you? Oh my gosh, is this even a fair fight? Like, Pebble acts like it's not not a big deal, but Pebble is actually really, really good. <laughs> like, really good? I'm guessing because Pebble's from Mountain Domain, good? Maybe I can work with Alyssa. Okay, come on, come on, Alyssa. Maybe if we work together? Yes, I got Pebble! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, old man. No! Old man Slip, you had some tricks up your sleeves. You managed to get Alyssa. No, and you got me. All right, so Slip is a lot, a lot more. I think he just like plays up the old man. Maybe he's like only two or something. And he's like, oh, I'm an old cat of eight. No, run. Oh my gosh, he's really good at this. All right, how do I, how do I win? No, I want my pet butterfly. Slip, I won't let you. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I go down. <gasps> I got him. I got him. Yes, two festival tokens. <laughs> All right, now we have six. <laughs> Let's join in the last game. All right, and now it's slip again. We're playing with Lyris. Our adversaries shall fall like the wind, like the leaf from the autumn trees. And we're up against Slip and Robin. Okay, so let's go ahead and try again. That's so fun that we actually got to play with Alyssa. And we were we were doing pretty good showing off Lyris. That wasn't very helpful. Wasn't very helpful. Come on, Slip. Okay, I'm gonna get you. He's giving me the slip, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let him get me. It's so interesting how you can cancel snowballs out. Hey, back off, back off. All right, there you go, there you go. Come on, slip. Oh man, they were getting like right in front of him and he was not gonna let that happen. Okay, there we go. Just have to keep throwing them. 
And eventually, if I can corner Robin, that might be the tactic I'm gonna take. Where you can just kind of like keep going, keep going. I think I hit Robin twice now. Just one more. One more. Should be able to keep them lined up. Yes! All right! Yes! And we got an achievement! Winter Wizard! And we won three festival tokens that time. Huzzah! 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 Go Creek! I hope that she made Alyssa proud. Alyssa, are you proud? Okay, good. I, I think that everybody is probably laughing, but not at her, but kind of with her that she is also peppermint colored today. All right, so let's go ahead and see what is in the shop that we can actually buy. We have nine tokens. We could get a power paw, which would be fun. Uh, the winter light decor definitely tempts me. A pet butterfly, though? Are you kidding me? Of course! Of course I want a pet butterfly. And I feel like the snow day color would be really fun for next year. So, hmm... Yeah, I feel like we can get, we're going to get the pet butterfly and we're going to buy the snow day coloring. There we go. And then next year we will try to get the winter light decor and everything else too. But we didn't have enough to get the butterfly and the winter lights. Thus, my choice. All right, I think that was everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all of the games are done. We now have a pet butterfly hiding inside of our inventory that I am oh so very excited about. We have had a wonderful day with all of the festivities. I love the idea that we came up with that all of the coat color changes we go through are the result of drinking Crampy's mysterious potions. And any of you who can get cattails, which is now out and available on the Steam store, by the way, can enter that holiday cheer code to unlock this co coat color too, which I think is really fun. I'm very excited to see what kind of coat colors might become available in the future too. So I'm going to let Creek go home, rest, get ready for the new year, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!